so when did that all click for you? Because again, you, you're very open about, you know, the experiences that you went through during your childhood. Like when did it click for you that like, okay, like I, I can be in control of my own life in a sense? Oh my gosh. I would say honestly, when I was a sophomore in high school, um, I was about a year into therapy and for me, my anxiety, as everyone you know watching knows, um, I'm very open and honest about my struggle with anxiety when I was younger. And I remember even as young as three years old, just my whole entire childhood, I just was always the anxious, you know, goofy, very energetic, and yeah. just always, I always felt off, but I never knew that it was a bad thing. And I never knew right. that something was not wrong, but I never knew that you know, I had an actual condition. I thought, oh, this is just me. You know, I'm just, oh, I always feel this way. I always have a pit in my stomach and that's normal. And I, my heart is always beating this fast and that's normal. Um, and then I remember when I was a freshman in high school, I just kept on, I was getting horrible panic attacks in my class and I did not know what was going on. And I thought it was a stroke, it was a heart attack. I just, it was so scary. And so for me, um, beginning of my sophomore year, I got a therapist and it really changed my life. But I remember halfway through therapy when I was 15, um, I really just something clicked where my therapist kept on saying, you know, Megan, um, your happiness is your responsibility. So she said right now at this young of an age, you should really, really, really realize that it's not up to a boyfriend. It's not up to your parents. It's not up to even me, your therapist. It's really, it's up to you to feel happy yourself yeah. and to really feel like you are a complete whole person. And for a while, you know, to be totally honest, that didn't hit me and I didn't really understand it, but it just it it stayed with me and i think that's such an important lesson to learn as a you know teenager in today's world is um just knowing that your emotions are your responsibility oh. just as you know taking care of your physical health you have a house apartment a car things to take care of like chores those are your emotions and your feelings too it's um you know it's something that i think we can almost forget sometimes like for me, you know, it'll be like halfway through the day and I'm like, wait, when is the last time I checked in with myself? Like, whoa, yeah. you know, I kind of feel weird. And then once I start, you know, physically paying attention to my body and where I'm breathing, then I kind of start feeling, you know, better. And to me, that's how I take care of myself. But um, yeah, I would say honestly, when I was 15 years old, a sophomore in high school, I just something really clicked where I was like, you know, I was also in a weird kind of not a healthy relation. There were just many things yeah, in my yeah. life where I was like, so unhappy. And I'm like, you know, something is just telling me my gut feeling. And then my therapist saying that was the catalyst for me to just make all of these positive changes and, you know, end that relationship and get a better friend group and all of these things. So that's just something I always tell myself, no matter what season of life I'm in, I, you know, constantly remind myself, okay, so, you know, it's, it's all up to me. So how, how do I want to feel? Because, you know, my thoughts are creating my feelings. So I'm the one creating this. It's not anyone else's fault.